Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, let's do a little bit with the FingerTech Beater Bar. If you're not familiar, this is a three pound robot weapon that is readily available, made by FingerTech Robotics. It's relatively cheap, and if you've seen any robotic competitions, you know that they occupy usually at least several of the spots and do pretty well, even against fully custom weapons. You can get it with a set of eight screws and a set of eight lock washers. Now you could run it with all eight screws and have a two tooth, two hits per rotation, or you could run it two on one side, two on the other for a single tooth design, which would give you one hit per rotation, which gives you increased bite if you're wondering. That, that's why people tend to go one tooth because it allows more of the enemy robot to go past a tooth before it hits. So you're able to then run higher RPM, which translates into more energy. Bigger hits. I have to thank Team Junkyard Dog for leaving some good comments on my channel. Uh, thank you. I had posted the robot with the single tooth configuration and Team Junkyard Dog had said, you should run all eight screws for more, more weapon mass if you can, as long as you have, as long as you're not skipping off, AKA you need more bite. And that was a great comment because I was so focused on having a single tooth design that I wasn't fully maximizing the weapon mass. But that got me thinking, I want both. I want the mass and I want it single tooth. Now you could go and you could probably design a steel plate that goes over here that you screw in and then has a tooth coming off of it, which I'm quite honestly, I'm surprised I haven't seen more of. Um, but I'm gonna go with something else. I'm gonna try something else. It might work, it might not work, but I think it's gonna be worth a shot. And if anyone else wants to try it, go for it. I would love to see how it turns out. All you're gonna to need to perform this modification is a good countersinking bit. Now you can decide how deep to sink them. I'm gonna try to get them pretty far down, I think. Though it looks like we may have an issue with the threads, but we could probably just push through. I did some quick measurements and math, and if you compare the full eight tooth and four tooth setups, the four tooth is around 20% less mass. But by keeping all eight teeth and only losing four washers and about three grams of aluminum, we're only losing about 5% compared to the full eight tooth setup. I think the threading on these screws is letting them not sit all the way.
Something else to note, the further down the screws are, the less energy they add to the impacts. Fortunately, the shape of the screw kind of works in our favor here. Finally getting close. Two and two. I did recess the threads a little bit just because on these screws there's quite a bit of dead space at the top of the thread. It doesn't go all the way. So I had to recess the holes a little bit and now they should screw it. I'm not going to wrench them down 100% yet because I still have to add thread locker. Always do that on these weapons. I am losing four washers worth of weight, but that is only about eight grams. Whereas each of these screws is eight grams. So you see, we have a, just a slight raised head there, which I think is gonna be good. And the other ones would go in like normal. Of course, don't wrench these down with these lock washers either, because as you can see, if you do it tight, the lock washers do a good job, but they'll gouge the aluminum coming out.
There you go. How to maximize your one tooth weapon weight on the Fingertech Beater Bar. And it still feels pretty balanced even though drill presses suck. Do, I do suggest a drill press over a hand drill, but you could accomplish the same thing with a hand drill. If anybody's done this before, props to you. I would love to rewatch some of your fights. And it's such a simple modification that even if you have to replace the beater bar, recreating that only takes a few drill presses. Or I should say, one drill press a few times. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope I'm one step closer to making my robot combat ready.